Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Um, this time is gonna be interesting, to say the least. I was originally gonna wait for my second 31 Days of Horror to mention this, but I, I have to bring it up. I mean, I just, I just really do. Last night I watched The Toolbox Murders Part 2. Yeah, now, I'm just going to do it. It's a piece of crap. I'm giving it one out of ten stars. And that one star is simply because there's some really good special effects in it. I'm not even going to bring that shit back here. I'm not even going to show you the cover again. It was that bad. If I... If I can say one thing to you, let, let me put it this way. The director of this movie, the editor of this movie, whoever gave these people money to make this movie, the actors of this movie, oh, the, the story writer who is, you know, he is the director, um, you should be ashamed of yourselves for putting this crap out. Sears, I'm... I'm choking back seething rage here. This is not acceptable for... You know, I'm not even going to go get the Blu-ray to see when this movie was made. This wasn't acceptable in, like, 1984, at the height of cheesy movies. This is a piece of shit. Hmm. I wasted an hour and a half of my life last night watching that. An hour and a half. I'm never going to get that time back. And if it wasn't for the fact that the effects were good, you know, I felt angry after finishing watching this movie. Usually if a movie can make, give you an emotional reaction, that's a good thing. But... N no. Just no. If you're thinking of buying this movie, please, I'm begging you, do not shell out your hard-earned money on... Ugh, on that. You know, there's a difference between a movie that's so bad it's good and a movie that's just bad. Now, I mean, I like a lot of movies. I like Sharknado. You know, I like Plan 9 from Outer Space. I like hokey, cheesy movies that have their heart in the right place. This was pathetic on a monumental scale. <sighs> Let me put it this way. I would rather watch an Uwe Ball film than watch that piece of crap. I'm, I'm just going to let that sink in for a second. I would rather watch House of the Dead than that. You know, damn it, at least House of the Dead was, you know, stupid as balls, but it... Uh, at least I came out of that one laughing my ass off, thinking, how the hell did this guy get money? I come, I come, I... I'm thoroughly disgusted. Seriously, I'm going on a bit of a rant here, but... What, could, what what can I say? And it was released through Scream Factory. I mean, Scream Factory, I love you. You you release you release stuff that deserves releasing, but that for that everyone that works at Scream Factory should be strung up and beat with a stick. 
There's no way around it. it. It's horrible. You guys let me down. Seriously. I mean, I know my voice probably doesn't carry much weight, but, you know, I shelled out like 25 bucks for that. You know. I've paid less for paper to wipe my ass with, and... That leaves you with a better feeling than this, piece of shit. Ugh. You know, I'm trying to think it's not the actor's fault. I'm trying to think it's not the director's fault. Maybe it was just such a low budget. Such a, I don't know. But I, I can't do it. I can't. This movie, with the exception of the special effects, has no redeeming value at all. All. I, kn I know the backstory, you know, I know that like it was shelved and everything. And there's a pretty damn good reason why it was shelved. It shouldn't have been taken off that shelf. It should have been chucked in a fire and burned. Uh, I think we'd have been... The horror community as a whole would have been a hell of a lot better off without that abomination... <sighs> just calm down, calm down, lean back, relax, it's just a movie, it's just a movie, it's just one shitty movie, whoever did the effects for this movie, I am, I am talking to you, please, now. If this person, I'm not even going to mention a name, who made this film, ever comes to you again and says, I'm making something else, please respectfully decline. You're wasting your talents. You know, I hope that this director didn't think he was making a good movie. I hope he didn't go out there thinking, I'm gonna revolutionize film and release this atrocity. I really hope you weren't thinking that. I hope you were thinking, you know, I'm, I'm gonna mess with people. I'm gonna give them the, the worst possible thing I can imagine and put it on screen, you know, just, just to be a jerk. I really hope, I hope that's the case. But I'm thinking it's not. <laughs> I'm thinking you really thought that you had something good here. And whoever financed this thing, take your money, go find Steven Biro from uh, Unearthed Films, give him all your money, and say, make something. Don't care what. Because, uh, you've been seriously shortchanged with this. I mean, you'd be better off buying Gatorade and Pop-Tarts. Um, I, I, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. There are some days you're really happy to be a horror fan. And then there are some days that you're just disgusted. This is one of the latter. I'm going to...